All right. Good morning. Uh, Wednesday, the 23rd. Yesterday, I'd seen an email from Rare Breed about this, and on other places on social media besides YouTube, they're talking about this uh, quite a bit. Uh, Rare Breed selling the Wotes. I'm assuming that in their patent uh, settlements that they ended up with these triggers. I think it's a pretty safe assumption. I don't obviously know that, but a <laughs> safe assumption, right? Um, and they're selling them dirt cheap compared to what they were selling for originally, right? It goes over the specs and features and basically the notes saying, look, Rare Breed didn't manufacture these uh, essentially and that we don't warranty them and uh, that is what it is. You can read that there and it makes it clear that the Wotes covered by the patent that they own, the 223 patent. And what's, what's important here, what I'm interested in most is the intended use of funds. And I'm going to quote here, quote, the money raised by the sales of these WOTs will be used exclusively to fund litigation in the following order, based on availability of funds and evaluation on a case-by-case -case basis. One, litigation by RBT against the DOJ ATF. Two, and to assist individuals who have been wrongfully accused of a crime for possession of an FRT-15. Three, to seek the return of property, FRT-15s, wrongfully taken from individuals by the ATF. End quote. That... That's pretty cool. I mean, that's uncommon uh, by and large in any industry. And for Rare Breed to be standing on this, as strong as they are still, is, is awesome in a word, right? Now, I'm not telling anybody to buy or not to buy or anything. This isn't advice, right? It's not advice. This is just me putting that out there and giving you my opinion. I think this is... Uh, pretty cool and uh, the one entity that's been consistent and actually their words match their actions has been rare breed triggers you know uh, all those infringers where are they at where were they the whole time not not fighting to protect the product or the people buying their product at all but here we are and the one guys who were consistent are still standing on this right and I say this because Rare Breed could have pulled the same thing as Slide Fire if they wanted to. They could have got stuff, and it, it would be different, obviously, but in the sense that they could have went out there, sold what they could have, and then when the Fed came down on them and all these patent infringers decided to start making money off of their risk, they could have just said, well, we're going to sue our patent infringers. We, you know, Obviously now it's no argument that they control the patent on this, right? <laughs> And they could have just went and sued them, made a deal with the Fed, cut off anybody else making them, and actually removed them completely from being out there on the market. Between the Fed and Rare Breed, they could have accomplished that. But that's not what they did. They're still fighting the good fight, right? And uh, and not taking the easy way out. So, and it, I, I use that word, that term loosely. It's not really the easy way out. It's just perceivably on the surface it is with the damage done is far worse for their rights and for everybody's rights and obviously rare breed sees that and i don't want to get too far off of just letting you guys know that hey this is out there do what you will with it and uh, i want to make a video again on the whole issue with the bump stock cases and this whole history and tradition stuff i know it's not as interesting to people but it's important and uh you know i <sighs> I wish it. I wish there was more there to fight with, but it seems that Rare Breed is going to be the best chance of undoing the damage done by the Trump administration, and more importantly by Donald Trump and his bump stock ban. Because these bump stock cases, there's one left, and I'm I have zero optimism that the Supreme Court's going to suddenly do something when they had no problem telling the company that they had to get rid of 40 or 60 thousand bump stocks that you're not important enough to have your case heard for us to do anything, give a dissenting opinion, any of that stuff. So, you know, zero confidence in uh, in this, the bump stock case that's left. Now, if I'm wrong, good, but I'm not seeing it. Anyway, everybody have a good holiday. I'm going to try to put that other video out before the week's over. If not, I'll get it out early next week. It uh, just depends. But uh, anyway, have a good holiday, guys. I will catch you all later.